kitchen and I'm going out now to get a few bits and pieces to cook something. Not sure what it is yet, but I can assure you it's going to be delicious. So stay tuned, Granddad's Kitchen. See you. Okay, hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Grandad's Kitchen. Here we have some bananas, yeah? Now these bananas were originally green, but if you leave them long enough, they will ripe. These are beginning to turn, that's what we call them, yeah? They're just turning from green to ripe. When they're fully ripe, they will look like this planting. I said when they're fully ripe, I rephrased that. When they've it's a cycle, it will just go, go, go till it end up start looking like that, worse and worse and worse and worse until it just gone bad, yeah? But at this stage, if you feel a banana, yeah? You feel a banana is quite solid, yeah? If you feel this one, it is soft, yeah? Don't squeeze, squeeze it up, yeah? When you feel it and it feels soft, pick it off. I'll try to do this thing here. See where they attach to each other, they can't. Yeah, you got, I got one, all right? See, that's popped off now. So if I peel that back now, I'm gonna try and do it with one hand because that's what I have at the moment. See how easy it peels? Yeah, and that's ready to be eaten, see? Mmm, if you, bite into your banana and it tastes anyway out of the ordinary then that's probably because it hasn't fully ripened yet right it's not ripe enough to eat yet yeah but it won't kill you still you're planting you can sorry I'm eating the banana now you can eat that in the same way you're eating this you can peel it and boil it, just put it in a pan of hot water or you can just cut it as it is in the skin and boil it green banana same thing peel it or cut it and put it in a pan and boil it just as it is now I'm going to show you how to peel your green banana okay hold on Right, <laughs> I'm gonna try a little to you. I have a little assistant. I have a whisper. I have an assistant who's gonna help me. Yeah? But I'm gonna see just how gullible she is. I'm gonna try some. With a laugh, with a laugh. Well, I was good. Okay, I'm gonna make some lemon tea. Yeah, there it is. Cut your lemon, put in a pot of water, and just boil it. Yeah, just leave it there once it's finished boiling or whenever you need it and that's it yeah proper boil leave it the whole thing wash your lemon first make sure your lemon clean cut it up put it in a pot right I can't get the assistant so I'm gonna try and do this one time what we do we pop off our banana uh, forget the popping off thing use your knife cut it off there all right so we're gonna do I'm gonna cut it off there then we're gonna Cut it down the side there, like that, and then we just peel it out of his skin. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and do that. Right there, you go. You can see the bananas where they're starting to change color. Yeah, I didn't bother peel them. I just put them in the pot. Yeah, so I'm gonna put two more in there. When you cut off your banana, yeah, uh, this is so awkward. Hold on, one second. Right, when you cut off your banana, can you see that sort of a uh, glue, see? Yeah, but this is where you would get your knife now and just cut down this side and just peel it like you would peel your ripe banana. Same thing, it's just a bit harder to peel. Yeah, so we're just going to cut that off and chuck it in the pot with the other ones. But, okay, remember us, we're talking about this stainy thing here. Don't get it on your clothes and when you, get it, when you get it on your hand, just wash your hand. Your hand will feel all sticky. Yeah, but once you got rid of it, it don't cause you no harm, it don't do nothing. Maybe you can find a use for it one day, doctor will say good for you, give you stamina or some foolishness like that. Anyhow. And this is what your banana look like um, when you cut through it. 
Yeah, and as you can see, like I said, hard for squeeze. You can't eat it, so it probably make you sick like a dog. Yeah? Okay. Let's chuck that in there. And chuck that in there. And you can see the ones that we put in earlier, starting, well, not even starting to turn color. Has already completely turned color. When these are cooked, where you'll probably find is the skin will burst open. We just split. And the skin will get left in other part. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to time it from now to see roughly how long it takes. Your pot is on the fire, pot is boiling <gasps> at maximum heat till it comes back to the boil, and then you turn it down to about halfway, make it just simmer. And I'm going to time it, so I'm going to start from now how long it actually takes. Time now is okay. That time and also what time is <laughs> Julia? Yes, sir. Okay, there you are. Our banana. I would say 20 minutes. It's all done. See where I say this skin splits? Yeah, it won't always happen that it split, but 20 minutes roughly. Yeah, just get your knife. Hold it up. See where I'm piercing it with a fork. If it goes in easy, it's cooked. The best way to do that is when you peel your banana or when you cut your banana in half, try piercing it with a knife and see how difficult it is. And then when you're chesting it to see it cook, you will see the difference. Once a knife just got <laughs> stop it to it, stop it, stop it. Alright, I've got before I start. Eh? Later people, good luck. Try it, banana nice, full of iron, full of iron. Don't use it, lick down nobody. Okay, there's our banana and um, put together with some ackee and saltfish, yeah? On the banana, you notice that red line and around the end? That's normal, don't take no notice of that. It won't hurt you, it won't kill you, it won't poison you. Gain there. But one thing I did do, once you finish um, uh, boiling the, bun the banana, season it up with a bit of black pepper or whatever you want to and it'll go down a tree and because it's got so much iron in it my dear here said she got to tell me upstairs later go see if it work so i'm gonna eat fast see you later okay she's corrected me she says it gives you energy so my energy to burn off her calories let's see how this thing work out yeah Okay, we've cooked our banana, everything's done and everything done, but one thing I must show you, see the pot? Can you see the lines around it? That's where the banana has stained the pot, see it? Yeah, so you're gonna have to do a bit of scrubbing to get that out. So, I think to prevent that, what you'll have to do is peel your banana and not um, cook it with this skin on. 